Oh, baby. We're doing well. Today is Tuesday. Team of the week seven is alive and well. We got Cooper Cup. Mostly deserved out of anyone in the league as of right now for an upgrade. Mother... <laughs> Uh, we also have Roddy White, which is good to see him in here. And then a Bears. I forgot Radcliffe, I think his name is. I'll have to double check. We're getting 89 Kyle Pitts, which is huge for a free 89 because he has, I think, 90 speed. We're going to open some packs and we can pull his 94 Chase Edmund as an LTD. Strap in, boys. Let's get it. What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Cersei, and we are back with another Madden NFL video. And today we got Team of the Week. Week seven is alive and well. As you can see, we got Roddy White. Oh, we also got Jay Radliff, Bears, my boy. Bears have been getting some love lately with the 94 Brandon Marshall as well. Player of the week, we have Cooper Cup and of course, 82 to 89 overall player. Can I do one of these or no? Let's see if we can do one. We can pull one of these 89s right away. I do have a bunch of low cards that i'm still trying to sell we might as well try to see oh, okay i don't have enough got it 89 wise we have kyle pitts which is probably the one most people are going to pick because he is very very fast for a free 90. no jamar chase surprisingly i thought jamar chase was definitely going to get an upgrade because he had what 200 yards he's been killing it he's well on pace for rookie of the year which is going to go ahead and give him a uh, nfl honors card we'll look at some of the player stats when we are all done we're probably going to rip some packs man before we get into it, if you don't mind leaving a like sub comment all that good stuff we're growing a little bit every day man and if you like the video, make sure you like the video and comment down below as well. If you're going to pick up any of these team of the week players, don't forget to sub on the way out, man. Your boy gets to 10,000 subs by the end of Madden 22. So we start Madden 23 off with the absolute burn. <laughs> so as you guys know, my pack luck has been absolutely disgusting over the course of the last week. I've pulled four or five LTDs since Friday. We pulled um, Byron Jones. We pulled Herbert. We pulled Brandon Marshall. And we pulled Marquise Pouncey on the last video. If you haven't seen that, check it out. It's for a million Monday. Did a million worth of pro fantasy packs and they hit big so we're gonna rip some packs see if we can pull anything i'm probably not gonna pull team of the week packs maybe i'll pull like one or two uh since they are boosted odds but i just don't think they're good packs they never have been uh, i'm probably gonna go ahead and rip either get a gold or we'll rip uh, open some pro fantasy packs i've done pro fantasy packs but i haven't really touched into get a golds too too much pro fantasy packs have just been absolutely monstrous for me lately i think they're very very good for the value right now but if you guys want me to drop a video on who i think is gonna get most feared part three and who you should pick up let me know drop a comment below and let me know uh let's take a look let's see if we can pull any of these bad boys cooper cup i will take i will take roddy white i will take any of those obviously 94 chase edmonds is going to be the ltd which is a little interesting right uh team of the week player is going to be 82 d ernest johnson he definitely deserves that an amazing night for the browns obviously did very very good as you can see the overalls were boosted on these bad boys as well so the free uh end cat that you're going to be getting for team of the week is going to be in uh in 90 89 actually what am i talking about 82 Ernest, again, I'm probably not going to rip these packs because they just don't offer too much value. It should come down a little bit more because we're going to be getting a lot of 82s in here. So this is a good day to snipe for training if you need training. Uh, this one's going to be... Okay, yeah, we're done with these. All right, let's try to gag our way to an LTD. What the hell is even that? We've been just killing it with LTDs lately. So I... And I told you, I think in my last video, uh, the Pro Fantasy Pack, when we pulled Marquise Pouncey, I said the slump is coming. When you do so well for a period of time, you're going to take a slump. And I feel like my slump is here. So I feel like we're just going to hit booty for, for most of the majority of these. Maybe not. Okay, maybe not. 88 Andre Johnson. Maybe I saw the pack look. I don't know. I, I can't tell. Obviously, the Team of the Week animation is what we want to see. We can either be very excited or we can be heartbroken. One of the two is going to happen. Obviously, since the market is up to make 5,000 right now, pretty much pulling Elite every single pack and you can make 5,000 off it. This one's going to be 81 Mitch. Cool. I feel like packs since they boosted odds a little bit have been pretty good, but I haven't really tapped into it on Monday. I didn't really rip too many packs on Monday um, because I've been clearing out the binder. We hit the 3 million mark on the main account. We're like at almost a mil and a half on the no money spent account, which I'm going to drop an episode either today or tomorrow uh, with some upgrades because we're going to do some upgrades on that episode. So make sure you turn that noti bell on. So you guys don't miss it because it's going to be a good episode. Uh, we have 88 Andre Johnson as of right now. And obviously I would love a 90 plus. That would be huge. If I don't get anything i won't be surprised i have a lot of lower elites that i still need to make into team builders doing this is okay because i could probably make i don't know maybe five to ten team builders which is a minimum of 200k for the most part the team of the week packs i don't recommend opening them because they're just not that good 81 hunter henry they've never been that good uh, that and legend packs are the ones i avoid the most game changers i don't like either elite player packs i don't like i only like a couple packs in this year which is going to be get a gold pro fantasy packs and maybe all pros hot hands dude you're you're miss pissing me off already Ooh, 90 okay dante flower we will take that that's the first elite that we've had in I don't know, quite some time. Get a Golds, man. They were always, I still think, are probably one of the best value packs, but 
pro fantasy packs man it's really hard to beat pro fantasy packs right now because they are just lights out Ow, we pulled four elites and 40 packs we're about halfway through right now and we're in the slump this is the slump i'm talking about man this is where i'm going to start losing coins pretty drastically because that's just how it works when it comes to uh when you pull so much heat over a short period of time you're gonna hit those slumps which is scary so i'm, I'm gonna have to just go through it it happens unless i get a 90 whatever oh legend 83 i'd read okay thank god these have been miserable these have been so bad right now this is like our fifth elite out of like 50 packs i'm not having fun right now i might be having a little fun uh -huh. i'm not having fun he won tj Watt, bro elite okay 83 mike evans as we get an elite yeah Winding down, we got 18 left. Back end bangers is underway. Uh, the slump seems like it's begun. Our highest pulls in 88. We've only probably gotten like maybe five or six elites. And uh, get a golds don't feel great at all. So, so far we are we are off to okay. Well, hold on, hold the phone. 82 Tanny Hill. We'll take that. We'll take a little Tanny Hill. Nice little, nice little coin quick sell. I needed that more than anything. Hopefully, back end banger starts producing some heat. Ah, uh, dude, 89 would be wonderful. 26 Damien Harris. We actually had a really good game as well over the weekend. This weekend, like these football games are weird. It was just blowouts. I'm Brady, 600 touchdown throw. I got some team store credit, some season tickets. I think he, I think Tom Brady was giving him a Bitcoin as well, which is actually pretty dope because that could be very valuable for him in the future. Four more. You don't even have to give me a big one. I just want to see like an elite at this point because they're just so bad. So bad. This one's going to be 74. Cool. A couple more. And then we have the toppers, which hopefully we can strike something out of there. Uh, this one's going to be 77 AJ Hawk. Cool. I will probably just quick sell him more than likely because he doesn't go for anything. Last one of this one is going to end with a gold 73. 10 78 pluses. Can we turn up? Can we start turning up, please? Marcus Spears, 80 overall. Okay. I just want to see elites out of here at this point. I don't even care if it's big. I just want to recoup as many coins as possible. Next one up, uh, 86. 83 Jabril Peppers. Okay. We'll take an 83. Probably has it goes for like 8K. So that's fine with me. We get another elite, which is going to be AJ Wright. Cool. Four more of these and we're done. We'll go look at the players. That was, that one went through it quick and we just didn't pull that. We're easily going to lose half of this, half of these coins for sure. Andre Johnson's about 60 K and the rest of the elites is maybe like 250. This is one of those you have to sell the gold cards individually, but with all the gold cards, I'll probably buy team of the week players for super cheap and, and do it that way. 82 Roquan, last one of the bunch. Can we get a walk off of some sort? And with the goal, let's look at the players. All right, let's take a look at Chase Edmonds first. 94 overall. He is in packs, going for about 800K, which I feel like he's going to fall a little bit. But he's got 93 speed, 94 excel, 91 agility, 90 carry, 85 catch, 92 change of direction, 63 trucking, and 88 break tackle. Powered up, you can get him up to 95 excel with 94 speed. Very, very good fast card. 91 agility as well. 92 change of direction, get 93 change of direction. He's an elusive back as well. If you want this card, I'd wait a little bit. See for one, if the price comes down or two, I really feel like Jim Brown, Barry Sanders, or Bo Jackson is going to be coming on Friday. I would wait for Friday as well to see who comes out as well as the LTDs. Pretty decent of a card. He's not bad at all. Uh, Roddy White right now going for about 258. So nothing too crazy. He has 92 speed, 94 jump, 92 catch, 92 catch in traffic, 89 spec, 90 short, 92 medium, 90 deep route running. Solid card. Pretty decent as well as for Falcons. And I think he gets another team, but I can't remember. But Falcons team team, there you go. He also has 94 Excel. So off the line, he's going to be very nice. Powered up of 95 Excel with 93 speed. He is a physical archetype, which is not terrible. Cooper Cup, 90 speed, 80 jump, 93 catch, 87 catch in traffic, 89 spec, 92 short, 91 medium, 90 deep. No one's going to use this card. Uh, 90 speed is nothing at this point. Uh, he's going to have 92 acceleration as well. So powered up, he's going to have 93 Excel with 91 speed. A Rams theme team is really all he's going to be used for. I don't see anyone else rocking him. I wish they gave him like a 92 base speed. I think he deserves it because someone posted on Twitter. I can't remember the name, but they showed the 40 time for Jerry Rice and Cooper Cup. And Cooper Cup ran a faster 40 and Jerry Rice has faster speed than Cooper Cup. I would like to see him at 92 base speed because people can actually utilize him and then like a 93 Excel because then he can be used. People can actually use him. No one's going to use this card that often unless you run a Rams theme team. But right now, I mean, Cooper Cup will probably get some type of uh, NFL honor card if it's the season ended right now. So we'll have to see how it goes. Solid card as well. I think I saw this card on Twitter, but he has 71 speed, 92 excel, 92 strength, 91 tackle with 90 play rec, 92 block, 93 power move and 90 finesse move. Solid DT. 71 speed, not terrible, but powered up of 93 Excel. So I'll be getting off that line very, very quick. If you are running a Bears theme team, then that is a very solid card. If you aren't, I wouldn't rush to get him because uh, Aaron Donald's coming. Obviously, if Aaron Donald doesn't get a most feared card, then this game is broken. And I don't believe in life anymore. And then I wanted to look at uh, Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts going for about 62,000, which is about average for an 89. 
uh training wise 89 I would look about getting some training for 89s because the market's going to come down. 89s were going for about 80K uh, yesterday, but now they're dropping down to 60. So if you want training, look under 89s, 88s, things like that. It might help you out. Up at 90 speed, base speed. That's all I really wanted to see. Plus 91 Excel uh, powered up since he is going to get a power up. He's going to have 92 Excel and uh, 91 speed. Very, very good free card, especially for a tight end. So he's going to be on my no money spent team. Now we're replaced by 86 Kyle Pitts that I have. Uh, but I like this card. Run blocking 67. I wish he was in the 70s, but we'll deal with it, man. If you like the video, make sure you like the video. Comment down below as well if you're going to pick up any of these players for Team of the Week. Don't forget to sub on the way out, man. Stay happy, stay healthy, guys. Tell your mom and tell your daddy. Catch you guys on the next video. <laughs>